Hello and welcome to SyncSpider. SyncSpider is a tool that helps you automate your daily tasks, synchronize your data on a schedule or by the event. Running a successful e-commerce business can be a daunting process. This is why automating as many day-to-day -day tasks as possible is of paramount importance. Why waste your time migrating data from one platform to another manually when you can focus on actually doing the business and let SyncSpider take care of the rest? Just to see how seamless and easy this process is, we are going to take a simple use case of migrating tasks from Trello to Google Sheets. So let's get started. First you're going to have to decide whether to use an existing project found here on the left hand side or create a new one. Let's create a new project so we can start from scratch and get a better idea of how SyncSpider actually works. Here you have to enter the name of the project and give a short description if you wish in order to better organize everything. And since this is your first project, you will not have any tasks, so it's time to set up our first one. Within the task, you will uh, have to set up your source integration, which is the integration from which the data is going to get sent, and your target integration, which is the integration that's going to receive that data. Kindly note that SyncSpider gives you an option to set up multiple target integrations. However, in this case, we're just going to be using one. Okay, back to the setup of source integration. Simply choose it from the list of all our existing integrations or utilize our search bar. Another thing to note is that you do not have to set up the integrations within the task itself. You can choose to use the already existing ones. All right, so after you've named the Trello integration and gave a short description, you're gonna be prompted to connect your Trello account with SyncSpider. It is a fairly simple process, all you need to do is grant permissions to SyncSpider. After this is done, you're going to have to select the entity that's actually going to get uh, sent over to the target integration, in our case it's going to be board. Next up, naturally, is setting up our target integration. As we said, it's going to be Google Sheets. You'll notice that every integration has a different setup process, with the easiest one being Google Sheets. All you have to do is simply select the Google account you wish SyncSpider to use. Like with our source integration, you will be prompted to select the entity you wish Google Sheets to receive. Of course, Google Sheets is based around spreadsheets, so that's what we're going to choose. Next step is filtering our source data. For example, if you had multiple tasks and you do not wish to send each and every one, uh, in this step you can filter out which ones are actually going to get sent. However, for the purpose of this video, we will skip this step as it's entirely optional. Next up is configuring our target integration. Since we're dealing with Google Sheets, you're gonna have to select the location on your Google Drive where you wish the sheet to get stored. Additionally, you can choose what happens with the Google Sheet after the task is done. If this is a recurring task, meaning that it gets done on a schedule, you can choose to either overwrite the sheet each time or to simply update it with new information. Lastly, you will need to set up the columns you wish your Google Sheet to have. For the purpose of this video, we will just create one column, which is the task name. Okay, we are almost done. What's left now is to map the fields from our source integration found on the left-hand side with the fields of our target integration found on the right-hand side. SyncSpider offers you a nice visual representation, so mapping becomes simply an act of uh, dragging and dropping the field of your source integration that you want to get matched with the field of the target integration. SyncSpider is designed to be easy to use so that no developer knowledge is needed. We pride ourselves on the clear and concise visual representation of each and every feature such as mapping and setting up tasks and multi-step tasks in general. If you'll notice here in the upper portion of the screen, you have a linear representation of every step that we've taken so far and all the steps that are left in order for our task to be successfully completed. As you can see, we only have one more step before we can put our task into motion, and that is uh, setting up various task details. In addition to renaming the task, you can set how it actually gets triggered. For example, uh, you can either run it on a schedule or when another task gets successfully completed. These tasks can be from any of your other projects or from the current one. And lastly, another neat little feature is for you to receive an email whenever this task succeeds or fails. So, after you've completed each and every step, you will get taken to this task dashboard. Here, once again, you have a nice visual representation of what's actually going to happen. 
and here on the right hand side you can choose to either edit copy delete the task enter the execution log if you ran it previously or start it off manually after you put your task into motion you will get taken to the task execution log here you can follow the progress in real time as well as see all the steps that are taken once it reaches 100% of course that means that the task is completed and as you can see our task in Trello got successfully imported to Google Sheet kindly note that this was just a simple use case of course in your day-to-day -day business things are going to get uh, more complicated however with our user-friendly approach and the option to run tasks either on a schedule or by the event you should have no problems achieving what you intended to thank you all for joining us today if you like what you see uh, you can visit our website or get in touch with us on our facebook page additionally uh, for more use cases webinars and such consider subscribing to our youtube channel thank you all once again and until next time take care